Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be deep cleaning my washing machine and also my fridge as well as just doing an overall tidy up of my downstairs. So the very first thing that I did with the washer was start it on the hottest setting that I could and you can just do like a regular load size for this and you let your tub start filling up with water and after there's a little bit of water in there, then you open it up and add a quart of vinegar and allow the washing machine to continue filling up with water and then agitate for about one minute. After the washer has agitated for a minute, you can open it back up and use the water inside of the tub with a toothbrush to clean any areas that are dirty on your tub. The little compartment where you can put bleach ends up being really disgusting and also my agitator those are the two worst areas on my tub and you can also use after you're done with the toothbrush just um, a cloth to wipe down the knobs and just the outside of the washer so I went ahead and cleaned all of the areas that were super dirty after this the washing machine still needed to sit for about 50 minutes so I started working on my never ending laundry and I just folded and sorted that. After I had all of my laundry sorted and put away, I moved on to cleaning out my refrigerator. The first thing that I did was take absolutely everything out of the fridge. I'm not going to lie, I always dread this part because I know that that means that I'm not getting out of it and I'm going to have to put everything back into the fridge, but this just makes me commit to it and for me that's a really good thing because I cannot stay concentrated on anything to save my life. So. This works best for me. While doing this, I make sure that there is nothing expired in our fridge or any old food that I've made is not just sitting in there. I want to make sure that anything in our fridge that we would grab is something that is edible and not expired or old. I did find some pudding cups that were supposed to be eaten by June and it is now September. So that's a little bit disturbing. Um, if anybody is listening to this, I want to know what is the grossest thing that you've ever found in your fridge or like the most expired food and how long did you let it go? After everything was out of the fridge and I had removed any expired items, I sprayed down all of the shelving units with all-purpose spray and also the compartments on the side. I realize now that I'm watching this there was definitely a compartment at the top with some something in there. Cream cheese maybe? I clearly totally forgot that space so forgive me. Once my fridge was totally clean, I put everything back into it, and while I was doing this, I tried to organize my fridge as best as possible, and I realized that what I have is like 80% condiments and 20% actual food, so clearly it's time to go to the grocery. Also, I do realize that when cleaning, I could have just taken the drawers out and used soapy water on them, but this time I got lucky and there was no huge spills or anything really hard to clean off. If there is next time, I will definitely take those out and do it a different way.
Next, I moved on to clearing off my catch-all, which is my island, and embarrassingly enough, my island gets like this every single day, if not twice a day. Once my island was completely cleared off, I used some all-purpose spray to spray it down and then just clean it super thoroughly. Next, I moved on to doing the dishes. I had also noticed while cleaning out my fridge that this bottle of salad dressing was really gunky and just gross. So I went ahead and cleaned the cap and just the outside of it as well. After I'd put all of the dishes into the dishwasher, I started it and let it do its thing. It had been an hour, so I went back into my laundry room and just closed the lid and let the vinegar solution cycle through. After letting the vinegar solution cycle through, you basically do a very similar thing with baking soda. So you put your washer on the hottest wash setting, and you can also just do a normal load side for this. and let the tub fill up with water a little bit, add about a cup of baking soda, and let that cycle through. The finished result after this was done, I thought looked really good. Um, the agitator, like I had mentioned before, is the area that usually gets pretty gross on my washing machine. It looked nice and clean, so I just went ahead and wiped down all of the buttons on the top of my machine and the front. and called it a day. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. I would love to have you and I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.